The Edge of Lost is a novel that begins in 1937 on Alcatraz Island, where the 10-year-old daughter of a prison guard goes missing. The only person who knows the truth of her whereabouts is Tommy Capello, a convicted bank robber whose entire life is dependent on the search's outcome. The story then jumps back a few decades earlier to the grimy streets of Dublin. That's where a boy named Shanley Keegan ekes out a living essentially as an aspiring vaudevillian. Eventually, Shan gets his dream chance to set sail to America, but tragedy strikes en route. And in order to survive, he will have to summon all of his ingenuity and strength. And before long, the two stories will end up intertwining. The inspiration for The Edge of Lost initially came from a documentary about children growing up on Alcatraz Island. Some of them even claimed to have secretly befriended the inmates. While researching, I also learned about one inmate who was entrusted with the warden's personal greenhouse. I was fascinated. There was this dichotomy. You've got children living right next door to the country's most notorious criminals, and also this lush, beautiful greenhouse being cared for by a resident of a tiny concrete bank cell. All of this laid the foundation for a story largely about hope and identity and second chances.